Hey guys, this is Ilya coming to you from the test server, and uh, we have a new feature called Smelt Equipment that I want to check out. This will be um, in patch 5.8 coming out in ju on June 30th, and, uh, and I have the materials for it now. And uh, Smelt Equipment requires these smelting stones, um, and you can get them in Outland Contest. Um, of course, I have more from here, but um, Outland Contest is, uh, is closed today. Okay, so... Apparently, you can only open up Outland Contest and exchange for these smelting stones um, when it's when it's open or on a day that that it's happening, um, or or however that works. But I can't show exchanging for these smelting stones. But you can go ahead and once you get the crystals from from Outland Contest, you can exchange for smelting stones. Um, so I have plenty here, and I want to check them out. It's basically like soul crystals, except for um, except for your equipment stats instead of for your gems. So um, so here, you know, soul crystals and things affect how much bonus we get in those green letters next to you know magical attack, PDF, HP. They all go um, they all go up from from soul crystals and soul seals. This is going to go. Um, adding to our refinement bonuses uh okay don't hold me to that maybe it's just to the um enchantments so let's find out uh, let's do one level and see what happens uh so smelting stones are very difficult to get they're pretty um uh, there's a, a limit on how many you can exchange for each day in outland contest and the limit is 20 and uh, and so it's it's uh it's not an easy material to get and this first level requires only five, which um, will get you started, but I'm sure it'll get steeper. So next time it's going to double to ten. Uh, but let's just look at one of these. Oh, okay. So it actually affects your gems and everything. So it's sort of like soul crystals, plus it affects all your other gear stats. So all of these uh, numbers in blue are, are what, what's affected. And actually, this is a huge bonus. So it's five plus five percent each time to each of these. So particularly for the Holy Forge benefits. So up there, my Holy Forge is plus uh, fifty one thousand eight hundred fifty six. So with a five percent bonus, I get two thousand five hundred and ninety three. So the stat bonuses from this are going to be pure insanity. Um, and uh, and each level of this is is a big big deal. Um, so we see some little bonuses to the refinement uh, bonus. The gems get a little bit of an upgrade, but the really really big thing is uh, is the bonuses to your Holy Forge because Holy Forge gives so much stats, and then five percent of whatever bonus that is is quite nice. So here, um, if we see. This is going to happen to all your gear, so each, wow, okay, so every single one of your pieces of gear, just think about how big each one of these levels is, um, so, uh, to, to the, the, uh, what is it, okay, to the armor, uh, we have, so, I get plus 53,000 or so MDEF, so again, it's going to be similar to the amount of uh, magical attack I got a bonus on, and my physical defense also gets a nice little um, up there. So this is really big, you guys. This is, so this is all the blue numbers are what just happened. Wow, that is, that is crazy, you guys. Big stuff. It, it also affects, um, of course, the uh, the Haladim and Artifact. Ooh, that is a doozy. All right. Well, you're gonna see the cashiers really gunning for this. I mean, to a certain extent, you're lucky because there's only so much the cashiers can do in Outland Contest. They can try and push it and and get it, but they're not gonna be able to get so many. Again, it's it's 20 per day, so. I mean, a couple levels of, of this stuff is, is already crazy, but, um, but yeah, so it's going to be somewhat limited. So I guess I'm just going to go, I mean, I obviously have a lot of these crystals, especially considering how few it requires, um, that I'm, we're going to be able to see a lot of levels. Oh my god, my stats are going to skyrocket. Oh, that's, that's too much, you guys. Too, too much. 20 goes to 15%. Yeah, so so we have an idea of, of 
how much this is going to cost, but I'm going to do each level individually so that we can blog about it, of course. 25 okay so it started going up by more um, at first it was only by five but now we're starting to go up by um, the, the increases like 25 of these stones so these later levels are going to be extremely difficult just from how rare these materials are so there's a lot of return on the on the early levels obviously getting the first few stones is really important uh, but this these later levels are going to be incredibly difficult it's now going up by 50 I can't imagine anybody getting this much crap. Alright, and that's as far as I go, and I mean, even though it's technically only like a little over 300 of these smelting stones for me to get uh, to the next level um, that's a lot of smelting stones so there is no joke it's very very difficult to get these stones it's a very long trudge to get them I imagine that it's gonna take quite a bit of time before you can uh, cash these for real uh, either direct cash through the shops or or recharge events or big spenders or things I don't think we're gonna see these materials um, in those types of um, uh, of events or, or rewards yet so uh, typically what happens is a new new thing comes out a new shiny thing uh, the cashers will be um, incentivized to uh, cash outland contest even though the return on outland contest is not very good at all uh, cashing outland contest is not really going to get you anywhere uh, with these smelting stones or uh, you know it's just incredibly limited in that respect there's only so far you can get uh, so I think you'll see the first few levels of this happen very quickly for the top cashers and rather slowly but doable for other players um, and then um, it, it'll be you know some months or, or at least several weeks um, before we see uh, these things popping up in other ways like recharge events big spenders um, and, and the hot event shop and things like that I hope it's not too soon because I don't want to be seeing um, you know the, the top players explode ahead in in this respect too quickly I think this is uh, this could very very easily break a lot of things because the the stat increase I think I doubled my magical attack since since doing this um, actually probably more than that I got 75,000 magical attack just to my my staff so um, you know, a more than 100% bonus. Obviously, now it's up. Um, so 145% bonus to everything. So that's insanity. And and of course, you know, I have so many ma these materials on this server that it's you know it's cool. We get to see it and whatever. This is not what you're going to see on the main servers. These materials are too difficult to get. Um, but but yeah, I mean that's that's amazing. So uh, between the 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 jewelry and and the weapon, that's very nice to up my attack my tune suddenly starting to look like one that might be able to you know play on the main servers with any degree of competitiveness um obviously that's not actually true there's some other things that are really um lacking here but in the gear respect i am looking good so just not with mounts and hp and things like, like that but uh but that is the current state of affairs that smelt equipment um you know i was very curious about it and i wanted to know what, what was going on um but but yeah so i you know if, if they flood too many of these materials into the game um too quickly then then it could be um uh, you know not game breaking but uh it just stratifying the the brs the top brs and the uh, from you know the non-cash PRs very very quickly uh, whereas um, if if they're reasonable about it and you know let people 
go at, at, at an okay pace, then, um, then maybe it's, it's gonna, um, be an okay addition, and, and people, uh, will, will see some nice benefits out of it, so we'll, we'll see, um, anyway, uh, I'm sure that we're going to post things on the blog, I will try and, uh, collaborate with Cosmos, make sure that we have a table of uh, all the costs for, for smelt equipment, um, you know, if I'm able to get m more materials on the server and see how far this can go, I mean, I, I would be really, really terrified if this goes all the way up to level 80, the way that, um, the, the way that soul engraving and, uh, and soul marks and stuff like that work, um, and so, so yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll see in the future how that goes, but yeah, so I'll put all the links in the description, thanks for watching, you guys, take care, and have a very good day.